Welcome to another free Microsoft Access tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In this tip, I'm going to show you how to find records between two dates using an Access query. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to generate a list of orders between two dates. And I'm going to show you some problems that come up if you don't do it exactly right. Here I have a real simple order table. I've got an order ID, which is my auto number, the customer name, which is a simple text field, the order date and time, and then the amount of the order itself. Now the reason why I like to store date and time with an order is because sometimes it's nice to know what time of day an order comes in, especially if you're a retail establishment. Then over the course of a year, let's say, you could generate a report showing what hours of the day are busiest for you so that the sales clerk doesn't have to type in the date and time each time he or she puts a new order in, I'm going to set the default value for that field equal to the now function. The now function will automatically put the current date and time in that field when a new record is created. I cover the now function in a lot more detail in my Access Beginner 3 class. There's also a date function which puts only the current date in the field instead of the date and time. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to table data sheet view, and here you can see I've entered in five different orders. Here's the customer names, the date and time the order was placed, and the amount. Now the boss says, I would like a list of all of our orders from June 2012. So in this case, I would like these three orders. Now yes, for my example, I only have five orders here, and it's very easy to see them. But let's pretend we've got 5,000 orders and they're all jumbled up in the table. So you might not easily be able to pick out the orders from June. I'm going to make a query to show me just the orders from June. So let's go to Create, Query Design. I'm going to add the order table to my query. I don't need the customer table. I'll hit Close. Which fields do you want to see on the query? Well, let's say uh, customer name and the order date and time. And yeah, let's bring the amount in. I don't need the order ID right now. Let's run the query. I'll click on the Run button. And there you can see all of the orders. I haven't put any criteria on yet. So let's flip back to Design View. Here's the Design View button. And let's put some criteria on here. Here's the criteria row down here. I want to come under Order Date Time. I'm going to spread this out just a little bit, make that column a little bit wider. Right here in the Criteria box, now, there are several different ways to do this, and you have to be very careful. Here's one way. Between 6-1-2012 and 6-30-2012. Notice Access puts the little pound symbols around your dates. That's fine. That's just normal. But look what happens when I run the query now. I'm only seeing two orders from June. Well, what's going on? Well, if you look at the data in the table, you'll see I've got three orders from June, but this last order is on June 30th at 3 p.m. Now, that's significant because I told the query to show me all the orders between 6-1 and 6-30, but if you don't specify a time on your criteria here, it assumes midnight. So basically, I'm saying show me everything from 6-1 at midnight through 6.30 at midnight, and it's going to ignore everything after midnight on the 30th. This is a very common error. I see my students do it all the time, so be very careful of this. Now, you can fix this by putting a time in here, or there's a better way. What I like to do is instead of using the between keyword, I'm going to say greater than or equal to, and then my date, 6 one 2012 and less than 7 1 2012. This says show me all the values from 6 1 at midnight up to but not including 7 1 at midnight. And that's why I wouldn't use the between keyword and just change that to 7 1 because that would include any orders that came in on 7 1 at midnight. This gives you the exact range that you want. And now when I run my query, I get all three orders. So be very careful when working with dates. If those dates have times in them, they get very, very tricky. 
Now, this is just one of the many topics that I cover in my Access 2010 Beginner Level 5 class. We focus most of the class on learning about query criteria. We talk about multiple conditions, ands and ors, inequalities, looking for records between dates like I just talked about. There's lots more to learn about it, too. I talk about null values, the is null, is not null keywords. We cover wildcard searches and the like keyword. Then we cover parameter queries. A parameter query is great because instead of having multiple different queries in your database, you can just ask the user for the criteria when the query runs, which is much, much more powerful. So for more information on that, pick up my Access Beginner Level 5 class. YouTube viewers, if you liked this tutorial and you'd like to see me post more of them here on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, post a comment below, and share this page with as many other people as you can. The more subscribers I get, the more likely I'll be to post more free tutorials more often. Also, make sure you go to this special webpage, 599cd.com slash XAC7329. You can sign up to watch my free two-hour beginner access tutorial. Plus, if you do decide that you'd like to purchase any of my full-length access tutorials, you can use that link. You'll find a discount code on that page. You get a huge discount on any of my tutorials. But make sure you subscribe. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this free tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. Of course, if you have any questions, visit my website, post on my forums, or send me an email. Thanks.